Hey guys, Anthony Special here with Big Energy Profits. Just wanted to give you my daily update on the market. Uh, last week, you know, we had a United States holiday, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I hope they enjoyed their holiday with their family. I know this year's a little different than what we've been traditionally used to. Um, but listen, we're all doing the best we can with the, the hand we've been dealt. Um, so towards the end of the week on Friday, of course, it was a shortened trade session. And with that, you know, crude prices just basically floated or drifted sideways. Um... Minimal activity, minimal volume, which is typical for Black Friday. Uh, you know, it's a shortened day. Most of the big guys are, are taking the weekend off, um, and that just kind of is what it is. But, uh, you know, on an overall look for last week, you know, we did see WTI was up uh, about $3. And listen, that's a pretty impressive move uh, leading into today and tomorrow's OPEC Plus meetings. Um, you know, with that, the OPEC Plus cartel expected to extend the 2 million barrel per day cut, that's pretty much kind of what we've been expecting um you know and the market may have built already in some of that news uh in in the near term price that we are currently seeing but we are definitely getting uh you know some movement to the upside and, and that is uh you know certainly helping one of our open positions we are currently managing so um Guys, listen, there's a little unrest going on in the Middle East, which is going to complicate this meeting a little bit, uh, simply because there's some escalation of tension. Uh, you know, there was an assassination of the Iranian nuclear program head, uh, and there was also an alleged attack on an oil refinery in northern Iraq, which is claimed to be done by Iran. Um, you know, so this deal that's going to transpire over the next couple of days has a couple geopolitical hurdles to get through, but... Listen, let's just stay steady and, uh, you know, we're going to see what the outcome is. From a purely technical standpoint, um, the $44 price area should contain any selling pressure that we have through the balance of the week. Um, in the next week or two, we are still suspected to reach that mid-$48 to $49 longer-term targeted area of resistance. So that's the direction that we're heading. I just want to give you a heads up. If you'd like to learn more about how you could be involved with Big Energy Profits, uh, our trade alert system, uh, managing our own trades, the, the actual trades I'm taking with real live money in the real live market, uh, I encourage you to watch my training webinar. And with that, I wish you have a great day. Take care.